This is my look for the 17 Beauty Smarties Showdown Viewer Challenge. I was inspired by the May cover of Seventeen Magazine with Chloe Grace Moretz. So let's get into it. Excuse my crazy hair. I'll deal with that later. First, I'm going to tuck my hair behind my ears to keep it out of my face. Then, with my Real Techniques buffing brush and Revlon Photo Ready Foundation in the color 001 Ivory, I'm going to take that and dot that all around my face and buff it in. I want to make sure I get an even coverage and product evenly distributed across my face. And you're just going to keep buffing it in to get the flawless finish that Chloe has on the cover. Then taking my Sonia Kashuk concealer palette, I'm going to use the lightest shade and blend that right under my eye to conceal any darkness. Taking my MAC Studio Fix Concealer in NC15, I'm going to take that and cover up any redness or blemishes I have around my face. So around the corners of my nose, along my chin, and on my forehead. Taking Urban Decay Primer Potion, I'm just going to take a bit and blend that all over my eyelid to cover up any discoloration or veins showing through. But I'm not going to be using any eyeshadow for this look because I really want to focus on the eyeliner. Chloe's eyeliner is really thick and not winged out at all. I wanted to take that idea and make it even more dramatic to fit my personal style. So I'm taking Revlon's Color Stay felt tip liner and I'm going to make a straight line out from where my waterline meets my tight line. Then I am just going to thicken up that line. And I think this is a really fun and different way to get a dramatic eyeliner look without going to the typical cat eye winged out liner. Once you're done, just do the same thing to the other eye. Now taking my Sephora concealer using the smaller end, I'm just going to run that right underneath my eye on my waterline to make my eyes appear larger. Now I'm just going to curl my lashes to help add some drama. Taking Revlon's Grow Lashes Mascara, I'm just going to apply that liberally to my lashes and don't worry about it being clumpy or messy because you want it to be able to balance out with a very dramatic eyeliner. With the Balm's What's Your Tight Mascara, I'm going to just apply that to my bottom lashes. My favorite part of Chloe's look are her really beautiful glowy cheeks. I'm going to take Benefit's High Beam through my cheekbones and just blend it in to help get that same pinky type glow to my face. Now with a cream blush from Topshop in Blush Blush, I'm just going to spread that along the apples of my cheeks to give my face a really nice natural flush. Now with Benefit's High Beam again, I'm going to take that along the high points of my face. So the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, a bit on my chin, and my forehead. Onto the brows. I'm just going to take an angled brush with a warm brown and put that through the first two thirds of my brow. Then taking Secret Service an Urban Decay shadow, I'm just going to take that through the last third of my brow and right underneath to add some dimension and definition. And lastly, I'm going to apply a Coastal Scent shade in Vibrant Red all through my brow. After I dyed my hair, it took a while to find a combination on my brows that looked natural, but I find this works and looks really nice. Now to finish the look, I'm taking Revlon's Lip Butter and Sugar Frosting and just applying that all over my lips. And here is the finished makeup look. Now to try and tame this crazy hair. 
First, I'm going to apply Peakwee oil all over my hair, focusing more towards the ends of my hair and using whatever's left over to cover the rest of it to add a really nice shine. Then I'm going to apply Tresemme Heat Protectant Spray. Then taking a handful of Herbal Essence, Pearl Boosting Mousse, I'm just going to work it all through my hair. Chloe's hair is really natural and effortless, so I didn't want to overwork my hair. To get extra volume, I'm just going to take a round brush at the base of my hair and hold the blow dryer on it for a few seconds. Then, do the same to the other side. Here's a tip for you. For the last bit of hair drying, if you change the setting from warm to cool, it will set the look before you start to work with it, so the texture you have won't just fall out. Now I'm taking just a bit of hairspray and applying that to my fingers to smooth down any flyaways I might have. Chloe's hair had a lot of volume, so taking a teasing brush and hairspray, I'm just going to tease my hair right at the roots. I'm just taking a bit of hairspray on my fingers and smoothing down any flyaways I might have. Then I'm just spraying a bit of hairspray on the ends of my hair to hold the look all day. And that is the finished hair. I took inspiration from Chloe's bold tank and shorts combo and brought her summer look into fall. So I added a pair of burgundy tights, black combat boots, and I chose a gray floral short. And instead of contrasting color like Chloe did, I wanted to contrast the texture, so I used a lace shirt. Now, because it is fall, of course we have to layer. So I added an oversized cardigan and a bulky knitted scarf. So for the second look, I added a sheer polka dot blouse. Still playing with the different textures of the fabric, but adding a little bit more visual interest. I hope you enjoyed my take of Chloe's cover look. Thanks for watching.